Hey, welcome back to Red Blue Labs. This is my first video in a series that I'm going to be uh, trying to do about hardware hacking and uh, vulnerability and exploitation of network devices. Uh, I found a, a super cheap router over at a secondhand store here in my city, and I've I've found already found a couple uh, vulnerabilities that live on that machine. So it's it's been super interesting. Uh, I've done a little bit of digging, and I've found an, a massive list of ways to take advantage of this this router, um, which is going to be really fun, and I think it's going to make for some for some great content. Let's dive right into this machine. So I'm going to tell you what I found right away. It was about ten dollars at a at a secondhand store, uh, and I found uh, this machine here. It's it is a D-Link, a D-Link, uh, six one five. It's retails at 40 bucks, super cheap. You can buy it even cheaper at other places. Um, and I know that people are going to buy these things at the secondhand store and they're just going to throw it in their networks and it's probably going to be uh, a huge hazard to their, their environment. Um, so hopefully the videos I'm doing here are going to enlighten you and bring some education. And if you see this at your friend's house, send them my video and say, hey, this guy's showing off some uh, exploits and vulnerabilities that are present on that, that device. Um, the two vulnerabilities that we're going to find right away. When I brought this machine home, threw it onto my secure network, uh, and then I accessed it. And I was presented with, let's go right away over here, and I'll show you the first vulnerability right now. There you go. Now we're on, now we're on the router. Uh, we're going to dig in and look at this. So when you're when you're presented with a, a login screen, I didn't wipe this thing by the way. I, I just plugged it in and see to, wanted to see what I could see. Um, and so I'm presented with the choice of admin and user. And obviously I've I've been th uh, through a few of these things. And you, if you're watching this, you probably know what we're going to do here. We're going to do admin and then see what happens. And boom, we're in. That's the first vulnerability. The password to the account is extremely easy to guess, right? Admin, admin. There you go. Boom, we're we're good. The that's a vulnerability. I mean, I could I just access the machine when I shouldn't be really able to do that. I should have I should have wiped it and accessed it. So this could have been the default settings, or this could have been the configuration from the previous owner. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that 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 this is not the case and that this actually was the settings that were um, that I, I'm, I'm assuming that you previous user didn't actually change the password so whatever that brings me to the second vulnerability that's was super interesting to to look at I'm gonna back out of here uh, we're gonna have admin there and we're gonna use Wireshark and we're actually gonna be sitting on the network and we're going to uh, sniff and try to observe and capture some packets that are going to the router and see if we can analyze it in some fashion. Uh, we're going to use Wireshark for that. Okay, so I've, I've expanded my Wireshark window here. I'm going to actually start uh, sniffing on the network that's attached to the router. So for my case right now, that's my Ethernet here. So we're going to start the wire capture. And we can see right away that we're on the correct the correct network and I'm going to specifically watch for traffic that's going to the default gateway and that would be IP address 192.168.0.1 and we're gonna we're gonna do that perfect let's let that go for a bit and I'm gonna go and open up the the uh, Firefox here and I'm gonna put in the credentials that I have I've already uh, acquired Okay, we saw some traffic happen there. Perfect. I'm going to stop. And let's let's take a quick let's take a look at some of the traffic that's happening here. Uh, this is all we're grabbing packets that have uh, 0.1 incorporated, but I also like to look spe specifically at uh, uh, TCP and that IP address. Awesome. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's dig around. So we got we got a lot of stuff going on. 
but let's make let's do our job a little bit easier here and let's follow that TCP stream I hope you can see that see that just fine um, red being the client blue being the server um, server is the router uh, me client using Mozilla um, and we're going to look to see like what happened when we connected to this thing Let's expand it um, this is me and post is important because that's me actually sending something to that server um, but if we dig in and we look right around here uh, we can see login we can see admin so there we go that was when I was logging in as an admin but that's what's more important is the log pass which is also admin uh, which is which is awesome and terrible <laughs> because what, what we are what we're learning here is that anybody could have done this on this network you plug this in it's running people are connected they want to go and log in as the admin um, those credentials aren't being encrypted at all so I could have been just some regular person sitting on uh, this network with my Wireshark running and I'd be able to acquire the admin password and that's exactly what we did here which is fascinating and that is our second vulnerability that's been discovered on this this router that we've got here all right I've got lots more coming hey if you're enjoying my videos please go ahead and like and subscribe that would be great and we'll talk to you soon all right bye